So, looks like somebody's going to get an easy path possibly to that throne this evening. A anyone who would be able to get there without having to go through the likes of Mastodon or Kincaid certainly does have it easy. Your safety official, Rep. Ryan. Walker clan being represented here in Hazleton, Pennsylvania at the Stunt Studios. The Sanctuary is very used to seeing Cowboy Billy Walker out here because he has so many protégés in his stable, but perhaps none are more dangerous than the dark horse, Johnny Moran. Yeah, I mean, even without Billy Walker, you could consider Johnny Moran a favorite in this tournament, but especially that he's got Billy Walker in his corner, I mean, could he be that shoe-in, or could that kind of work against him at some point? When Cowboy Billy Walker is ringside, it's not a question of if he'll get involved, it's when. And that translates to a, uh, an advantage for every member of the Walker clan. It looks like Johnny's got something to say. Hey. Now, it was supposed to be Johnny Moran versus John West. John West didn't show up. Smart decision. It was supposed to be Johnny Moran. Kid Rap. Kid Rap didn't show up. Smart decision. Does that really mean that he's in the finals already? I think he's right. A buy from the first round. And then, wait a minute. Somebody's what? Wait, no way! You gotta be kidding me! Project Cruyton in with the Mirage! We haven't seen these guys since season Three, season four, season five? I mean, wow. This, this looks like it's going to be a heavy hitting matchup here. Another stellar first round matchup, if that's what comes to fruition. The boss says he's cool with it. This is about to happen. Oh, whoa, 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 quick roll up. Oh, man, almost over in a flash. And he almost went from the finals to the bench, whoa. just like that. Now bringing Moran out of the corner. No, those are to the opposite. Oh, man. Meister, I don't know, you may not know this guy, but uh, Project Brewington and Mirage go back a long, long way in the uh, lineage of the sanctuary. Project Brewington is a former tag team champion with Eric Eminon. He used to be called the Indie Card Mafia. I'm sure many people would uh, remember that. Trained by Claudio Castagnoli in 2009, a name that a few people might know. Been in the PWI 500 for, for years. This guy's been all over the place. He's been in WWE, Ring of Honor, Dragon Gate USA. He's been all over the place. And here's a little bit of information. He has feuded with Johnny Moran when he used to team up with Mike Mitchell. As the, uh, as the mighty militia back in the day. And another thing, cover, no. Brewington up with one count. Another thing, Brewington has never lost to Johnny Moran in a singles matchup before. Pete, that's a lot of impressive accolades here for Brewington. 
Um, I mean, he has not been here in a while, but let's see how he stacks up against Johnny. I mean, Johnny is white hot coming into this tournament. However, he thought he was going to have a cakewalk right to the finals, and now he's going up against somebody with all of those accolades of Project Brewington. I mean, what a 180 you could have as far as a first-round matchup here. Absolutely a, uh, a, uh, a roller coaster of emotions for Johnny Moran. First thinking he was going against John West, then thinking it was going to be Kit Raff, and then thinking he was going to get a bye all the way into the finals. What a nice senton. Beautiful. Now going for the cover. One, two, not enough. You see Mirage on the outside cheering her man on. You gotta believe there's extra motivation too, especially if he's never beaten Project Brewington in a singles match before. You gotta bet there's some extra motivation now, not only to advance wow. in the tournament after those shots, just trading shots back and forth, but you gotta see, look at the passion between the two of them in this first round matchup. I bet Johnny is, you know, just ready to go and try to see if he can finally conquer this monster and shake that off of his back. That's right, on top of the accolade, like you said, of being the crowned the very first king of the sanctuary, there's also bragging rights on the line for this match. Oh. And you see Brewington is not rusty at all in that ring, taking it right to Johnny Moran. Now they are going at it tooth and nail here. <clears throat> like I said, this is hard hitting. This is a hard hitting first round matchup. I don't think Johnny Moran could prepare for this necessarily. Oh, well, reversal by Moran now. Brewington coming in, was ready line. for it anyway. Both men down now. And you also got Mirage in Project Brunton's corner, so it looks like the sides are even now. Maybe Cowboy Billy Walker is not that much of an advantage here. That's right, you see him out there with his shepherd's cane, but perhaps he knows a little bit about Mirage and knows not to mess with it because Mirage won't, won't hesitate to jump across the ring and attack uh, uh, Walker himself. Yeah, at least, at the very least, the numbers game is even now. Oh, now Fireman's carry position on Oh, no. Looks like he's going for his finisher, but I think it's a little too early, Johnny. Oh! Calls out to Lula Black, that double arm DDT goes for the cover. This could be it! Oh, man. Gotta be kidding me. I think Johnny was using every last ounce of energy to kick out of that. Taking whatever it takes to kick out, indeed. But you can see he's struggling to get back up to his feet, using the ropes to get back up there to a vertical base. Brewington sizing him up, in with a head of steam, raising clothesline into the corner. Now, more distance between them. Oh! Nasty headbutt sends nice right for into the Bulldog. Nails it! Gets every bit of it, needs to go for the cover. Turns over, can't quite hook the leg, however. And Moran able to get that shoulder up. Pete, that looked like two and seven eighths to me. That looked real, real close. Johnny was so close to being out of this tournament. Very, very close, Maestro. And, and, and here's the thing about those. Each time they get closer and closer, it's only a matter of time before that shoulder can't get up before that third comes down. But if there's anything we've learned about Johnny Moran is you cannot count out the dark horse. In fact, that's how he's getting his nickname, the dark horse, because he keeps coming and coming with that fire. Absolutely not, and he loves it. He loves to be underestimated because he loves to be able, oh, flatliner, loves to be able to prove people wrong, hooks that leg, goes for the cover, and Brewington. Him. Brewington cannot answer the call. Boy, I bet that is a load off Johnny Moran's shoulders to have not only that victory, but to move on in the tournament. Getting exactly what he thought he had to begin with. However, needing to uh, use up quite a bit more energy than he expected to. Regardless, Moran has moved on to the second round of the Kingdom Come Tournament. Oh, and if you saw how he addressed that victory, you can see if he did not have the passion to win this tournament before, you could see in those eyes now that that is the prize that he's gunning for tonight. That's right, Johnny Moran has been heavyweight champion, he's been tag team champion, he's been the spotlight champ, and he's been the live stream champ. This would be the final accolade in uh, the sanctuary to show everyone who is number one in this company. And like you said earlier, Johnny Moran is talented enough to be able to succeed at this game without the help of, uh, of, of Billy Walker. And that match, we saw no interference from Cowboy Billy Walker. Uh, Johnny Moran just proved that he could do it on his own. 
Yeah, and that's a scary, scary thing, Pete. That's a scary thing. 